find your place. If you're ready for a story, find your place. Let's all gather near so everyone can hear. So if you're ready for a story, find your place. I think I know these by now. Okay, we already put away our bag, didn't we? So we're going to stand up and get our wiggle belt. I'm going to move the chairs because I keep running into them. Ready? Do we know where we got our foot ready? Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. Two little hands go tap, tap, tap. One little body twirls around. One little body sits right down. Can we do it again? You ready? You're like, I just sat down. Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. Two little hands go tap. One little body twirls around. One little body sits right down. Good job, guys. Ready? Are your are your hands ready for calisthenics? You can sit for this baby. Yeah, you can sit. We need a lamp. Ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. In your lap. Good job. Okay. Oh, green. Ready for a story. I listen with, what do we listen with? What are those things? Ears. Ears. I see with my eyes. Eyes. Good job. My whole body's ready to learn and be wise. Are we going to be wise? We're going to get our, hey. our brain going? All right. So we've been talking about our community service members, and they are firemen, firemen. and policemen. And I love butterflies. Oh, and they're beautiful, too. They do yeah. community service in they a whole different, different way. Colors, like green. Or blue, or red, anything. What? <laughs> well, you will love our bag next week then if you like butterflies. So, we've been talking about the people that help people when they're in trouble, right? And it takes a special kind of person to take care of people when they're in trouble. So, our story today is called The Bravest of the Brave. And I got all these little notes on top of there. This book is written by Shada Crum and illustrated by Tim Bowers. And the publishing house, Random House, is allowing us to read this today for Story Hour. What's that little, oh, look right there. What's that? A butterfly. He likes those. What color is it, Malcolm? Um, orange. Can't know. It's that color of your, your spot there. You said you didn't really care for it. Orange. Uh, that's your shirt. Orange. Yellow? Orange. Orange. Yellow. Peace, do you know what kind of animal that is? Skunk. That's a skunk. What What's special about a skunk, do you know? Uh, they're stinky. They stinky. Yeah. They are stinky. And they have pretty cool fur, don't they? They got a stripe on their tail. That guy's even got a stripe on his face. Like that butterfly is orange. He does have an orange and yellow look. He's he's kind of in between. He's not sure who he is, is he? But this book doesn't have a policeman in it that I know of, and it doesn't have a fireman. But those people need to be brave, and this story is going to talk about being brave. Have you ever been brave? Yes. Yeah. Sometimes we have to get a shot. We have to be brave, don't we? Mm -hmm. I I What's that? Yeah. Well, well, you put them to them and play you. Oh. But sometimes we Maggie and the dog just get a shot. Oh, Ma Maggie had to get a shot? Yes. She probably didn't like it either, did she? No. She had to be she, brave. Yes. This book was given to the library by Tom and Susan Rogers. So if we see them, we can thank them for this book. Oh, there's our little skunk friend and that butterfly. Oh, he's 
Chase in it. Let's see what it says. Oh, this book is dedicated to my colleagues at the Ann Arbor District Library who are all resourceful and brave. Working with you has been one of the great joys of my life. And then that's from SC. And then it says, Remembering Sweet Baby Sarah Gray. And that's from TB. Late one day, I hurried home, stepping through the woods alone. It was deep and dim. I could barely see, but I thought brave thoughts to comfort me. Then, in the shadows quietly, one masked face stared right at me. Do you see that masked face? Yes. Clear. Any, who, do you know what animal wears a mask? A bobcat. Oh, this one's a little different. Maybe not a bobcat. He has a striped tail. A skunk. Oh, he's a friend of a skunk. Sometimes we see them hit by the road. They get hit in the road a lot. Black too. Very good. <laughs> he also has a striped tail. They have a striped tail, yeah, they do. One masked face stared right at me, so I sang my song as surely as I could and off raced the robber through the deep, dark wood. See, there he is. So he was brave. He sang a song that made him feel brave. Then, floating from a spooky tree, two gruff voices startled me. So I roughed up my fur as fully as I could, and away howled ghosts through the deep, dark wood. What do you think was in that tree? Owl. Ooh, ooh. Um, owl. Very good. Then slipping low table. so silently, three silken cats dropped over me. So I danced my dance as wildly as I could, and back trapped the trappers through the deep dark wood. Who? Drop a net over you. Who makes webs? Spiders. Spiders. Yikes. Then, prickling hard and angrily, four long fingers poked at me. So I stomped my stomp as loudly as I could, and away scurried witches through the deep dark wood. Who has pokies on their fur? Do you guys know? Um, hedgehogs. Well, they do too. These are bigger. Who's bigger that has pokies? Um, porcupine. Porcupine. <gasps> See, there they go. One, two, three, four. Off they go. Then, spying down quite fearsomely, five sharp faces scowled at me. So I called my call as clearly as I could, the and off girl. sailed the pirates through the Black deep, dark girl. wood. Flying squirrels. What are they? Flying squirrels. Flying squirrels. And look, one, two, three, four, five. Then, from the darkness suddenly, six strong arms all groped for me. I see some arms. I wonder what it is. So I made a stance as stoutly as I could, and I pawed the ground gravely as I could. And I raised my tail as Mother said I should. Uh-oh, what's he going to do? He raised his tail. Um, play! He's going to play? Well, he might think it's a play, but somebody else might not. He's a skunk. What's the, what do they do when they put their tail up? That's telling you you might want to stay away because they're going to stink. They're going to stink. You're right. They're going to stink. So he's ready to scare them off. <laughs> Those kids stink. Stop. Stop. Ooh, I wonder what those are. Squinting hard so I could see, there they were, my family. 
So they brought me home quickly as they could, right here to our party in the deep dark woods. Then, oh my goodness, so he almost sprayed his family. What? The skunk. He almost sprayed his family. Then his whole house would have stunk, wouldn't it? Because he sprayed his family. Telling tales of bravery, seven times they heard from me. For I stood tall, as boldly as I could, and I scared all my friends in the deep, dark woods. Then, flashing round so cheerily, eight bright lights encircled me, so I laughed out loud as gaily as I could, and we lit the night up in the deep, dark woods. What are those? Fireflies. Fireflies. Have anybody seen any fireflies yet? Uh, I found one yet, and I know, um, I know it's what. Yeah, probably when it was a little warmer, yeah? yeah. I, I like it when it gets a little Why warmer. Why do come out and after dark? After dark. Have you ever caught one? Did you ever catch one? No, I don't. They are fast. They are very fast. Snuggled close by family, nine little hugs they gave to me. So they touched me in a gently, in as gently as they could, and I nestled safely in my deep dark woods. And then they all went. Okay, we're going to sleep. We're going to bed. They're using the fireflies like night lights. Way up high, the sky is deep. Ten stars twinkle while I sleep. They are keeping watch, beaming peacefully for the bravest of the brave. And that is me. So, Mr. Elsa brain. What's that? You have an Elsa brain. I have an Elsa brain? Uh huh. It's really long, isn't it? Yeah. Do I look like Elsa? Okay, thank you. My hair is getting longer. Yours is because you can put it in a bun. Yes. So what are some of the things that Mr. Skunk did to be brave? He sang, didn't he? Do you sometimes sing when you're a little scared? I do. Just, just so you can hear a sound that you know. And one time he, let's see, he roughed all up, he stood tall, and he puffed all up. And that was another way of telling himself he was brave, wasn't it? And here's one for Lucy. He danced. That made him feel brave. Do you feel brave when you dance? You feel strong, don't you? And he stomped loudly. We do that sometimes, don't we? That makes us feel brave. And he called out in a loud voice. Uh, uh, one night, I, 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 I was put my head this way on my bed, that, that I face of, the, of my out way, mm -hmm. and, 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 and while, while I was sleeping, I felt something on my face, on my butt. Oh no, what was it? <laughs> I don't know, it must be a tiger. Were you brave? <laughs> I, I couldn't see it. Then it zoomed right off. Did you, did you call for mom and dad? No, I didn't have to. You didn't have to. You, you made it through all by yourself, huh? I was a little brave. So, sometimes that, we have to do right? different things to be brave, don't we? I'm not saying that's right. Is there a moth? He's being brave. What's that? Because somebody will probably swat at him, right? Well, that thing that was flying in here. Yeah, it's a moth. But sometimes we see a hornet that stings us. And we have to be brave, don't we? Yes. What a big deal. What's that? Big deal. Hornets don't, don't come out. His tail? I only got stings right on my knee one time. Well, stinging is not fun. 
that's for sure. Sometimes yeah, people sometimes get sick. Yeah, sometimes it's itchy. I go laugh at it. But yeah. Sometimes, yeah. And, and, uh, and I saw a hornet flew out of the tree house's window. Oh. When we were catching, when we were trying to catch a snake. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? We have a busy bag. And I have a snake for your busy bag, though. Because some people don't like snakes. They make them scared. And then they have to be brave. I like snakes. And it was a you snake like snakes? that, have you that them up? scared of people. It was a snake that scared of people. Oh. I did because I did a big little one up. But I put mine up and it was toy boy. Oh. I had a snake the other day that didn't like me. He, he got all mad and he puffed up and, and I was outside raking and he, he lifted his head up and he hissed at me. And I, I had to move him because he wasn't very happy with me. Now, in our bags this week, there is one of these and this is for the adults. And it's just, this week is children's book week. And it's just a little list that maybe you can do. Some of these might be a little old for your younger kids. You might have to do them with them. Or if you have older children, they could do them. Um, it's like read the first book in a new series or read out loud to grandpa and grandma. There's some things that you can do with other people and enjoy books. Okay, let's see what else is in here. There are some seeds in here, and there are seeds in here because... We just planted some marigolds. You got your marigolds all planted? Well, these are different kinds. These are zinnias. And they are all well, different colors. We got colors. some zinnias in a, a bigger package. A bigger package. Well, you can add these to your bigger package, and they'll all be friends, okay? Well, we need to find flowers. What's that? We need to find flowers. When we get all done, you can find some flowers. Now, this weekend is a special weekend. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. This weekend has a day that is for moms. Do you know what that is? But I'm on a, a Mother's Day. We're going to go on back to the island. Oh, yeah. Is, is Grandma going with you? Yes. Mimi's going? Mm -hmm. Do you guys want have to go to a doctor for fun. Yeah, she has to be brave. I went to up the be... sandy dunes before, and I, and I was so tired that I just fall down. You were so tired. But, and, but I but it was so hard, and I could do hard things. And and we it was so long that uh, that was six this many minutes. Oh my goodness, ten Can minutes. Pretty finger. You have beautiful fingernail polish. Yeah. Well, this weekend is Mother's Day, and there's a little poem in here. It's called I'm Blooming. Are we done? We're almost done. Hang in there just a little bit. It's called I'm Blooming, and so you can read the poem and then plant your seeds. There's some stuff in there so you can make someone special a card. There's a snack in there. There are some... Uh, pla oh, plastic foam frame so you can make a frame and decorate it. I think you can make multiple frames. Yeah. And maybe you can frame a picture. But there's all kinds of things that you can. There's alphabet. There are some sunshine and some different stickers there. But you can decorate those frames and maybe make a I don't know, maybe make a present for your grandma or your mom. And then we have some more papers. Um, they have to do with service people. We have alphabet, we have numbers. Is that the last Shapes thing? and all kinds of things. And you'll find some other projects in there to do, okay? Now we go find some flowers. Hang on just a minute, Malcolm. You've been outside, I can tell you're ready to go. I, I get that. I, w I would like to be outside too, <laughs> but we've got just a couple minutes, so we got to finish up our, our jobs, okay? So if you want to stack up your set, set squares. Thank you, Miss Lucy. Thank you, Malcolm. Good job.
shot. And Case is going to bring the red ones. Thank you, sir. Hopefully, I don't drop them. So, let's see. It says, Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to go home? To go home. We have fun together, playing with each other. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Oh, the first little finger says, Bye to my friends. The second little finger says, Playtime ends. Third little finger asks if there are things, if things are set to go. We look like we're set to go. The fourth little finger says, remember things I should know. Like 911, right? Five little fingers help me wave bye-bye. We'll be back next week, so please don't cry. And then we already stacked up our set of ponds. You ready? I hope, I hope, it's I time for us to go. go. But all my background is going to say, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, it's time for us to go. But all my background with this guy say, I hope, I hope. And tell everybody in video land, bye bye.